Hey guys, it's me Winona, aka Blythe Dream, and welcome to my review of the new H&M store in Hobart. Here's the storefront I'm keen to go inside. Today's review is just on the women's section. If you guys want me to review the men's and kids section, just let me know. Most of the women's wear only goes up to a size 12, sometimes up to a size 16. These are Australian sizes, so make sure to take off two sizes to get the American sizes. These cute little black singlets seem to be all around the shop in all different styles and fabrics. And we've also got some denim jeans with ripped knees. None of the straight size jeans are going to fit me, of course. I'm usually around an Australian size 26 or an American 22 or 3X. Some stretchy smaller sizes will fit me though. I found this cute little shirt. It's an Australian size 12 and a US 8. I think it's really cute, but it was $20 so I didn't end up buying it. Later on, I'm going to be trying this white shirt on, except in the blue colour. And this pink jumper reminds me of Lazy Oaf. I think it's really cute, but I didn't try it on. This faux leather material is going to be cropping up a lot in our store tour, including this skirt and these shoes here. Now, I never really hated faux leather, but by the end of my shopping trip, I would probably vomit if you showed it to me again. On the contrary, I actually quite liked this red knitted jumper and I also like these black denim overalls. But I would definitely never wear this fuzzy coat thing. This red shirt is actually a bodysuit, which I feel would give you a major wedgie. This turtleneck is kind of cute. Um, and there's also this kind of ruched long sleeve shirt. And is it just me or does the ruching kind of remind you of a rib cage? I actually have a kimono with a really similar print to this red dress and I quite like it. Another huge trend I saw in the store was reds, creams, blacks and metallics. I found this cute cream top. It's also an Australian size 12 and a US size 8. I liked how it looked on, but I have way too many knits in my closet already to buy it. I was instantly drawn to this dress. It has these kinds of piercings, and to me, they are truly hideous. <laughs> This little sparkly top is cute, but the material was cheap and rough. It was the same story with this grey slash silver jumper. This fuzzy cardigan is honestly goals because you can feel like you're in your pyjamas, but all day. Here are some earmuffs, which are kind of handy if you live somewhere cold. I can imagine they might be hard to find. More red floral, fuzzy cardigans, black, glittery knits, and denim. And then I found this really cute blue crop top. It's also a size 12 Australian and 8 US. I was ready to buy this, and then I realized it actually had a huge coffee stain on the front. They didn't have any more in that size, which is a real shame. So unfortunately I didn't get to buy it, even though I loved it. Another fugly faux leather creation. This time an apron dress thing. But I don't mind the orange jumper behind it.
This sparkly blue jumper reminds me of something my mum would wear, but I still like it. This fuzzy jumper is so hilarious that I'm kind of in love with it for some strange reason. So this is the front section of the shop that we're in now. It's full of the items that they really want to push as this season's trends. It's especially targeted towards people in their 20s and younger. Now I really don't see the point of having a white shirt that is this see-through. Also, imagine buying this hoodie, thinking it was cute, and then finding out that it was Justin Bieber merch. This Metallica shirt is kind of cute, but given the demographic, I think it's a pretty strange choice. This jumper looks like a discount daddy's little monster hoodie. I'm drawn to this Pepsi shirt, but I've never even tried Pepsi, so I would feel like a phony. I love the idea of this jumper because you can have the cute look without committing to a sports team. And here we have some scarves, some gloves, and some bags. These bags look like something that rice gum would have. And of course, we've got more wintery stuff, which I think the store is great for, especially when it's stuff you might only need for a month or two of the year, if you're in Australia. These hair ties and stuff remind me of Supre. And this like hair tie thing really looks like a millipede. There are lots of beanies, which personally I think all look quite tacky, unfortunately. Now on the other side, there are more beanies. One is actually quite cute though, and it's got Mickey Mouse on it. There are more gloves, which are all in quite inoffensive colours. And there are also chokers, which I always have to extend because I just don't have the neck for it. You can also see the warm slippers again there. Now we will be entering the second section of the store, which is the basic section. I'll show you around what they have. I didn't pick anything up today, but maybe if I ever need an odd singlet or t-shirt, I might come back. We just went past the cardigans, which are quite nice, but overpriced in my opinion. There are many hoodies and jumpers in different colours and matching track pants. Also, they have simple black leggings. One of the main features of this section are the very many different short sleeve and long sleeve t-shirts and also singlets. Also, in the basics section, they have a small stand which contains the cotton knickers, but there's a bigger section later on of knickers that match the bras. This okay jumper is actually really adorable. Unfortunately, it doesn't have much stretch, so I didn't bother trying it on because I knew it wouldn't fit. There's this weird sail rack filled with legions of salmon coloured long sleeve jumper things. There's also a basic black slogan jumper. This purple jumper coming up really caught my eye because of how cute and retro it is. I would have definitely tried it on but again I didn't think it would fit. There's some camo as well and I am always down for some camouflage. Also, the floral here was quite nice. Now, this authentic jumper felt really nice and thick and good quality. And this jumper here, I really love the colour scheme. But the woven fabric is so ugly to me, it reminds me of the early 2000s in a bad way. Talking about the early 2000s, oh my god, this neon, 
No. Now this faux leather shirt with a lace up back is just awful. I can't even deal with how terrible it is. Who would wear this? But I did find this cute top for only $7. It's an Australian size 8 or a US size 4, but it is very oversized. I ended up buying it. But this lace up top thing, why, why? I absolutely love this retro black jumper with the neon purple and green writing. And also this California club shirt looked kind of cute, but it had a huge hole. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. This bomber jacket is another complete fail to me. And of course, there are lots more random jumpers. And to end off this rack, an absolutely beautiful disco sequin dress. Oh, gorgeous. And oh my god, another Justin Bieber Stadium Tour jumper. Just why? Are there people actually buying this? This original jumper is cute too. And I love how it's ribbed. Ooh, naughty. This dress is what you'd wear to a job interview. And I have a jumper similar to this one at home. This babe attack jumper with a cut hem is nice. And as is this female equals future jumper. Also cute. And here is a random strange pair of tiny denim shorts. This little hoodie was cute. An Aussie size 12 and US size 8. I liked how it looked, but I didn't really need it, so I didn't buy it. Also, it was quite see-through, as you can see. Maybe on a thinner person, it wouldn't have been so see-through, but I doubt it. These satin pants were quite interesting. This Borg jacket looks really nice and it's very in trend for this coming winter season. This little cow neck shirt would be really nice for a disco. And also these big and warm fuzzy jackets are littered all around the store. They are definitely going to be selling stacks of them this winter. There are also various black lace dresses here in all different cuts, some with long sleeves, some with short sleeves. I just don't know how to describe why I don't like this kind of lacing on a dress like this. It just looks cheap for some reason. I really love these camo jackets. I really wish they had them in a plus size, but of course they don't. We'll be talking more about the plus size selection later. I just wish I could have tried it on. I definitely would have if they'd had it in a bigger size. These dresses came in a black and a red. They're both an Australian 16, which is a US 12. They're only about 20 or $15 if I remember correctly, but I didn't end up getting either of them because I just wasn't in love with them, but I quite liked them. These jeans with patches on them are quite cute. To me, this is the right way to do retro. This dress was filled with all these amazing holographic iridescent discs. I think my mum would really love this. She'd also love that iridescent bomber jacket. 
but I love this next puffer jacket. It's absolutely amazing. I would totally wear this if it came in my size. Here are some really cute disco shirts in all different shimmery and glittery fabrics. I love them. Hey, it's me. <laughs> And another disco sequin top. It's just gorgeous. Here we are in the next section. It's the active wear. I just kind of walked through this section because it's all fitted and I knew none of it would fit me. But they seem to have quite a good range. If you're less than a size 12, you might enjoy this section. They especially have a few winter activewear clothes. Also, can you believe this drink bottle was $12.99? Now we have the maternity section. I have no knowledge about maternity and no life experience with it, so I'm not really qualified to judge this section. I think it was quite cool they did have some nursing shirts though and they also had jackets suitable for maternity which seems like it'd be quite a useful niche. This section is aimed at more mature clients I think but it's still quite casual. There are lots of jumpers with prints and jeans that middle-aged and older people would tend to prefer. There are no crop tops or other styles that suit younger people more. Of course, if you're younger, you can still shop in this section. It's just a rough guideline about what I think their target demographics were. Oh my god, this fucking jumper, this one was so soft and smooth, but thinking about it now, I'm considering going back to try it on, it's just so nice. This jacket looked like they had to skin a bunch of teddy bears. They even had a sleepwear section. Now I am a big fan of pyjamas. Peter Alexander is my favourite shop, but none of these prints here really caught my eye. But these pants, they look like they have ringworm. I can't even, well, like who thought this was a good idea? These leggings over here actually missed on my first round, but they're quite cute. Wouldn't fit me though. Here is the underwear section. They have a lot of bras and matching undies. They also have a small swimwear range, but I'm sure they will stock a lot more in the summer. I'm just gonna walk you through the shoe section. There seem to be a lot of slides, which are cute, but they never seem to fit me right. They have quite a few socks, but they are surprisingly expensive for a shop that I was told was discount. They also have really, really cute Dorothy from Wizard of Oz shoes, but they're way too high for me. I actually really like these loafers, surprisingly, but I couldn't be bothered trying them. The shoe section isn't actually that big, surprisingly. Just lots of boots and some heels, mostly all in dark colours for the winter. They also stock a small range of tights and stockings. Now we are finally moving on to the plus size section. And section is generous because there was hardly anything there.
They have some different button-up shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, and jumpers. Now, as I'm looking through the clothes, I'm having a real hard time trying to find anything that I like to try on. The clothes definitely don't have the trendy edge that the clothes at the front of the store have. And it's a lot of basics and I genuinely think this section is aimed at mature people. These stripy shirts though do remind me of Beetlejuice. The plus size department apparently goes up to a size 26 Australian US 22. But they definitely are going to run small. Weirdly, they have this rack and then another three more just full of these boring black hoodies with the ribbon cord. Who made the decision to order in so many of them? Like, was it a mistake? Why are there so many black hoodies? Do they think that's all that plus size people wear? And this floral dress is kind of cute, but it doesn't stand out enough for me to try it on. And they also seem to have a fucking huge amount of these plain and checkered kind of flannels. Do they think that's all that us fat people wear? What's going on? There are some black leggings which are great to see. Only $15, so I might actually go back in before the winter is out to buy a pair. You know, a girl always needs more plain black leggings. This chunky knit pink jumper is one of the only other cute things as well. Also some more knits, which are useful for winter, but they're quite plain and boring. They have just gone crazy on the coloured shirts. I don't understand why are the collared shirts everywhere. This jumper is okay though and it does have a nice lacing detail. Um, and there's also these sparkly shirts which I think are quite nice. Okay, so this top with the like little leopard boys all over reminds me of the 90s so much and I'm pretty sure all our mums had a top with this print. I'm also impressed with the craftsmanship of this top. The flower isn't just embroidered, it's got several layers with all the different petals, which I think is quite unique. Now, these red jeans were hideous, but I thought I had to try the only pair of jeans in the plus section. These are Australian 26 and US 22. Like I guess, they didn't fit. Perhaps because they didn't bother putting a zip on a pair of plus size jeans. I absolutely loved the print on this horse dress, possibly because I love anything with horses, but unfortunately they only had a 22 and it didn't fit at all. One redeeming point was they did also have puffer jackets. They even had a jumper with whammon written on it. It's a whammon. More flannels. Like, oh my god, do they have stakes in a plaid factory? This black shirt was really scratchy and thin material. This star print was kind of cute, but you could easily get a shirt like this from Best and Less for under five dollars and of course more and more of this bright red which the shop just seems to be obsessed with here are some of the phone cases and the other products which they keep near the counter as you can tell i was holding the camera just in my hand and also trying not to be noticed while filming so the footage is definitely shaky and not always completely in focus and in frame. This next section is definitely aimed at professional women who need more serious clothes for an office job. That definitely isn't my target demographic, but I found quite a few nice clothes here. Unfortunately, I didn't try on anything here because this style of clothes is usually fitted and doesn't stretch to fit my shape. 
Just like the rest of the store, they don't have plus size clothes in this section. The only section with plus size clothes is the specific plus size section. I absolutely love this jumper. It was beautiful. I would definitely go back and try this on if I needed a new jumper. There are also some extra basics down this end in nice pastel colours. Now back to the office wear section, there were quite a few different longer skirts, stacks of business shirts for women, some very structured handbags and basically anything you would need for a job interview or work in general. I really love this skirt with poppies on it, but again, it would not fit me. They have this kind of disco section in the back. I found this awesome shirt in Australian size 12 and US 8. I love it. It cost $14.95 and I bought it. This green metallic jumper is gorgeous. And these jeans have magic disappearing and reappearing stars. This section is my favourite. Unfortunately, I can't wear most of the clothes back here because they don't go past a size 12. This section is refreshingly filled with beautiful earth tones and bronze colours. I'll let you all sit back and look at the remaining clothes while I give my final thoughts on H&M as a whole. H&M is the quintessential definition of a fast fashion retailer. Generally, you're not going to be getting high quality garments or garments that are designed to last more than a year or even a season. Sometimes there is a good quality piece, but it is rare. Make sure you look out for sales racks because you can definitely get things for a great sale. If you're wanting to occasionally try a new trend, it's great especially if it's something you're not willing to commit to an expensive version. You're going to have to definitely comb the shop for nice pieces because there are stacks of hideous clothes. The shop doesn't have a specific style or age group in mind like some shops do, so there are going to be lots of misses and not just hits. The activewear section has okay products but not the best size range. I applaud them for having maternity and nursing clothes, but I can't speak to the application of them. They have a huge range of basics, which are reasonably priced, so it's probably a good place to go for staples. They carry a lot of season-specific clothes. Their plus-size section is pretty terrible. It's mostly frumpy clothes and basics. The sizing is horrible. Now, are you all ready for my favourite thing in the whole shop? Sadly, I can't wear it, but it's this gorgeous bronze jacket. It's my favourite thing. I love it. I wish they had it in my size. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. On my way home from H&M, I saw this cute Princess and the Pea store display. Isn't it cute? Bye, guys. See you all soon.